Hello, welcome back. Today we take a look at Among the Trolls. This is a game that might just spark a little bit of fresh air into the typical survival games. So we will be looking at the story, the release date and building mechanics and a few more little bits from this game. So early access for Among the Trolls has been confirmed from the indie devs sometime this year. So anytime this year the early access could fire up and give us chance to play this game. Among the Trolls is a survival crafting game based on a world of Finnish folklore and folk beliefs and the spirits and creatures of grandmother's stories are undeniably real. I've never been a massive fan of like spirits and I've actually lived somewhere that was possibly haunted but I've never been a massive fan of magic and all that stuff but this game actually does look pretty good. Due to this the survival mechanics of Among the Trolls will be somewhat different from other survival games because the folklore aspects plays a crucial part in the world. The survival elements will also be affected instead of leveling enormous areas of the forest, hoarding resources and taking without giving back, you must sacrifice, give offerings and consult the spirits. I'll share a little bit more about that in a minute. But let's talk about the building and crafting. They play critical role in this game apparently because part of the core gameplay among the trolls will include a modular building system that will allow players to build different types of creations from basic shelters to multi-level cabins and chalets also. The system allows the, and encourages you to also create these structures together with your friends in co-op mode so there is going to definitely be a co-op mode which is good. In addition to the regular crafting, items such as knives, spears, axes, you will also have the ability to create familiars. Familiars? Something. Again, I'm not a massive magic fan. <laughs> These are magical beings that may help you during your journey to find out what happened to your grandparents. So if you're wondering what I'm going on about, let's dive into the story a little bit more. Among the Trolls takes place in a world that looks like our own basically. The characters are either Anna or Alex so I'm guessing you play as two and that's not some like kind of transvestite character there. They are Finnish American in their mid 30s. Their parents passed away and they want to reconnect to their roots in their Finnish land and also connect with their grandparents. So you decide to travel from the United States back to Finland and revisit the special places from your childhood where your fondest memories took place. So it'd be time to embark on a quest to find your missing grandparents basically and learn how to survive in the wilderness. Dealing with the supernatural creatures of Finnish mythology and the animalistic nature of the world. Anna slash Alex. Mm -hmm must follow in their grandfather's footsteps and discover the rune singer within whatever that is so basically to start the story you will start off in a rowing boat it's been confirmed and you will be row row rowing your boat gently down the stream towards your grandparents island when suddenly a river monster of a pike smashes into your boat sends you down to the bottom of the lake you awake in a forest that you've never seen before not that forest, this is a different forest. Told you, you've not seen this one before. Lost and confused, you need to give your head a little wobble and get back in the game. So you probably want to make a fire before the darkness consumes you. This is where you might encounter the folklore and spirits. You have to collect resources and offer up this to the stone with multiple holes. They have a name, I'll try and find it for you. Cupstones. Much like the real world though, you can't just go into the forest and like take all without giving something back. You will get bad karma. The forest will go black and dark. The goodness of everything in that forest sort of decays. So I, I'm, I'm taking it all the fruits just decay and the animals bugger off. So to overcome this you will need to offer something back to the wild in return. If you don't, the creatures will just get more and more angry with you and attack you. And then they will start tearing you a new one. So no one likes a bad time in a dark forest. Well, not everyone. So remember to make a good 
offering to the spirits to calm them down with the cup stones you know the stones with the holes in so when the spirits are calm the forest will come back to life the sun will shine again giving you a complete new look of a survival game so let me know your thoughts on this one because like that whole element just sets it apart from other games and I think that's what games need to come up with thinking outside the box now. It's nice to, well it's not nice to have that plane crash and then wake up in the forest over and over and over again and we've seen it in a few different games now. It's nice just for these devs to think outside the box and give us something a bit different. As I said I'm not massively into magic and that sort of thing but who knows I might just love this game. Let me know your thoughts anyway, it'd be nice to get some feedback in the comments. So thanks for watching if you made it this far, drop a like, thanks for watching, stay safe, stay entertained, we'll see you all on the next one.